Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Um, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I've just had a bit of time off from social media. But I've just come on today to show you some really cool stuff that I've been picking up at uh, the op shop. So um, I've got quite a bit of stuff I'll also show you, I have been mucking around with a bit of a junk journal. I haven't finished it yet, but just getting um, just getting into it, really. So I'll start with some um, books that I found. So I found this Oxford Dictionary of Quotations. So at the uh, Salvation, no, yes, the Salvos, um, that most of the books are two dollars, so this book was two dollars, and it's just full of all quotations. This one is really lovely now, it's a little beat up. The dust cover is, and I, these were also inside it, but this is the cover of it, and it's got 56 plates of full colour pictures it's so lovely really really lovely pictures in it so it's all roses aren't they just beautiful so on one side is the picture on the other obviously is what rose they are and some information they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So beautiful. Absolutely love it. And that one was $2. And these were some pictures that were inside it as well. And these are beautiful as well. And these... These are all done by Marion West. Macot. So just beautiful. Some people are just incredibly talented. So these were tucked inside the book as well. And so this was two dollars with the along with the book. They're absolutely beautiful. And there's quite a few of them. Okay, so that was with that one. And I found this Eucalypse by Stan Kelly. And it's also just absolutely full of gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations of all the di different eucalypt trees absolutely beautiful so yeah there's hundreds of them and then i found this one this one was two dollars as well so it's called a Victorian Flower Album by Henry Terry. And it's really beautiful as well. I love the writing. I'll give you a closer look. It's lovely. Beautiful. So I guess it's a little bit like... Um, an Edith Holden book, but, you know, not the same, but some of the same things, I guess. So it's just full of beautiful illustrations and the gorgeous writing as well. So the pages are a bit discoloured and a bit mottly in places. But really beautiful nonetheless. Okay, so 
So what's that one? I was pretty excited to find this one. I think it's gorgeous. Quite a large book as well. So that just is all, all of the illustrations. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's that one. It's got um, over a hundred pages in it. So. I was very happy to find that for two dollars. Also found um, this placemat for a dollar. I thought it would make a good journal cover when I ever get around to actually making one. I found some iron-on transfers of some roses. I thought they were really pretty. I hope that's not too glary with that plastic bag. They were a dollar and a pretty postcard for 20 cents. Now this one's going to be really hard to show you. So it's called Victorian Scrapbook and it's just um, it just tells you, it says this enchanting reproduction of a Victorian scrapbook is another in our series of collectible memorabilia. This book contains exquisite colour and black and white pen sketches depicting day-to-day -day activities, children at play, family pets and much more. So it's just got beautiful pictures in it. This one was $4, which I was more than happy to pay for I just love that it's absolutely beautiful sorry about the glare it's really sweet as well the flowers are stunning black and white one, they're gorgeous I just loved it, aren't they just beautiful, I know it's too big to use but it's absolutely just beautiful I love these ones as well, I love this I love the chickens ones here in the English countryside okay, I love these beautiful I love this absolutely gorgeous here So it really is, I was very excited to find this one, loving these ones as well. Gorgeous. Oops. Knocking everything around here. Look at this gorgeous girl with her pups. Beautiful. And these are lovely as well. And I love all of these little black and white ones. 
And then there's some Christmas ones. Okay, so that's that one. Absolutely love that one. Found some beads in a bag. And um, this bag of goodies I found at a, a local store. So I just live in a very small country town and I was super excited to find these things. So found this gorgeous silk skirt and a roll of fat. Paper. Um, these are what I was very excited to find. So I found three Tim Holtz Alterations uh, dies, and they've never been used, I don't think. So two of them are alphabet ones, and another is a border strip, and they were just a couple of dollars each. And I also found these, Tim Holtz Ideology, the Swirls, Digits and Punctuation. So there's 171 pieces. Again, um, just a few dollars. Some Sizzix mat board. Um, never been opened. Again, a couple of dollars. Um, a bag of brads and buttons and things was a dollar. Some red rubber stamps. They are unmounted, but um, doesn't bother me. They're all of lovely girl. I should have stamped them out and showed you, but I just never thought of it. Um, they're really beautiful never been used they're fairies or this one's a fairy at least um, they're in a bag together for a couple of dollars uh, as with these ones so this little girl and that one and that one and this one, which is a Christmas one, hasn't been taken out of the packet or used. So they were all together for two or three dollars. I got these dies unopened for a couple of dollars. And there was a stack of other... Um, Stamps as well. Now some of them are double, so I'll be able to give some away. These are older stamping Bella stamps. Um, I love the little girl on the cupcake, so I've got three of that one, so I'll be able to give some away. That one's a double. And the little B is also a double, but they were just all together in a bag. Um, some great big tags chipboard book it says um, just a little paper pad and some other bits another little pad these were in there as well so to help you draw swirls and things like that a pinking rotary cutter and a ruler with, with the measurements as you roll it along, like it um, measures. So all of that was at just at my little local op shop, which was a big surprise to me. I was quite shocked. And the ladies that were there didn't really even know what these were. And... They just had them tucked away in a very obscure place. And um, when I told her what they actually did, she was she was most surprised that somebody had gotten rid of them, as I was. I also have 
a massive, I'll just, massive stash of lace and trims. So this was all, um, I think this was $12 for all of this and it, there is just so much and it's just beautiful. Um, it's all beautiful, soft, not that, um, sometimes it can be quite hard and yeah, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful, but this is all good quality um, lace. I think there's nine meters of that, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. There's some white. Mm, it just goes on and on. There's so much of it, and it's absolutely lovely. It's a piece you could cut apart or put on a journal cover. All beautiful. It does have to have a wash up yet. Here's a beautiful bag of um, trim. I'm not sure what it's called, but there's some darker blue lace. Um, yeah, there's there's just so much of it. All of it is you know, like good quality. So, so much there. I love this little one. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? There's some black as well. Some very old, I would suggest, just by looking at what it's wound onto. This one is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. When it's washed up, it'll come up beautiful, I'm sure. Some more there, some black. Um, some yellow, which is unusual. And some mauve and some cream. Apricot, beautiful blue there, a bag of, this one's like a crocheted, it's really lovely that one, there's a whole bag of that, and some more, there's some invisible thread, a thing of needles, oh there were buttons in there but I've already put them away, and there was this needle holder, so I can remember my I think my grandmother had one like that. You just have your needles down in there. Okay, so that was my um, stash from the second hand store, which I was pretty excited about. I've just now got to get into using it and getting on with doing something. Um, so I have been doing this. Um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mess, I have to tell you. I've just been completely lacking any motivation, but. I'm trying to get uh, a journal done and I'm, I'm struggling with it. Uh, I've made tags and, you know, tuck spots, um, little envelopes. I've made little matchbooks with the little papers in I've that's not my problem I just um, 
I just don't know where to go. So I've made little envelopes with tags, pockets with tags. So heaps of tuck spots. My problem is I just am not motivated to get the cover done and I'm kind of stuck. I don't know what to do. So this is kind of what I've done. I've just done a bit of stamping, done some pockets. I coloured the paper with, um, I bought some tea, uh, I think it was rose something or other, and I really didn't like it. So I coloured my paper with it. I did some paper clips. That's going to be a tuck spot there. And here, so I've made little fold outs, little tags with flowers. So I've made lots and lots of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm so um, stuck on the cover. I've just I've watched so many videos. I've watched Sonia, and I've watched Wendy, and you know I see all of the wonderful things that people are making, and I'm just I just don't have it in me at the moment to um, get it done. But I'm going to Melbourne. Um, for a few days and I hope um, when I come back that I've found some found my mojo and a bit of, bit of motivation to get this done I hope okay everyone so I think that's all for today thank you so much for watching I really want to thank all my new subscribers I've got over 300 subscribers now and I really will um, try and get back into it I really want to have a giveaway as well for all of the fabulous people who've subscribed to my channel and who leave beautiful comments Thank you so much for watching. Have a terrific day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.